Hello and welcome. We are happy to announce that now you can connect our wireless tilt angle sensors DUB Lee to smart and signal GPS devices by Nav Telecom directly via Bluetooth without any adapters. So let's take a look at how it's done and also refresh our memory on how to configure the connection between these devices with other sensors we manufacture. To configure the connection, you need the up-to-date version of the configurator. If the application requires you to update the firmware of the tracker, please do so. Once the configurator is open, we need to go to the Bluetooth tab. Tick the box here if it's empty, then select the device type sensors and hit the search button. Now you need to select the sensor type FLS for the TDBLE, temperature sensor for the TLBLE and the tilt angle sensor for the DUBLE. The subtype should be the escort sensor. For the TDBLE, you also need to select the transfer as FLS 1, 2 or any other number. For the TLBLE, you need to select transfer as high precision temperature and light sensor. Click on the sensor you need in the search list and copy its MAC address by pressing the Ctrl C hotkeys. Then you just need to paste the MAC address in the corresponding box or introduce it manually. The MAC address can be found on the sensor's head or in our app. To the right from the MAC address box, you can enter the sensor's name. Once you are finished here, you need to go to the Protocol Settings tab and select the Flex 3.0 version here. After that, go to the RS-232 RS-485 settings in case you are connecting ATDBLE and tick the box of the sensor you need. If you are connecting ATLBLE sensor, open the Additionally section and tick the High Precision Temperature and Light Sensor box that you need. After that, Go to the User Parameter section. Here you can select the 1, 2 and 4 byte parameters. In the first column, you can select the RSSI or signal level, battery voltage and the state of any BLE sensor. In the second column, you can select the tilt angle sensor's current angle and in the third column, the luminosity level for the TLBLE sensors and status of sensor, or in other words, the event notification of the DUBLE. After all the adjustments are made, you need to click the Load to Device button and wait for the tracker to reboot. Then you can open the telemetry. Here you need to tick the Request Periodically Every 1 second box. After the sensor's data is received and processed, the readings of the signal level battery voltage and state of all sensors will be displayed in the user parameter tab as well as the luminosity for the TLBLE and the current angle along with the event notification for the DUBLE. The temperature reading of the TLBLE is displayed in the input-output interfaces tab and the fuel level and temperature readings of the TDBLE in the Flow and Fuel Level Sensors tab. How all these parameters are displayed on a monitoring platform you can see on your screen right now.